All right, this time I'd like to show you a very useful website if you're interested in swords. It's uh, sword-site.com. I stumbled upon this website recently and it's pretty awesome. It has pictures of original finds, of a wide variety. Uh, for example, if I just randomly click here somewhere and see very nice detailed photos here, got some information. Uh, it's it varies a little bit how detailed it is sometimes you even have the measurements which is awesome uh, which is not they're not always taken by museums apparently or you know private collectors or whatever it is and uh, very useful it also gives you the source for each of these so you can click on that and see if there's anything else in that collection that interests you and you know, just browse through it and it's very, very helpful if you just want to, like, for example, look for inspiration. If you, if you want to design a sword or let's say you're, you're doing a role-playing game and you want to see, you know, what is there? What did it look like? Or let's say you want to check if a modern reproduction looks anything like the originals. And then you can just go here. Like, for example... Um, Let's see, there was a, a Celtic sword. Yeah, there we go. That was a good example of a Celtic sword. So you can check that and then compare. Again, I wish there were measurements every time. Here we have some. Some of the dimensions. Not the weight, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, you don't very often see that. And it's very, you know, clearly categorized. You, you see all the types. Viking swords listed by types. Uh, let's see, I see Wheeler. Yeah, there's uh, Peterson as well. So here's a single-edged Viking sword. So it doesn't look quite like the, the Berserker by Albion, but it's one example of a single-edged. And you can see a broad spectrum. And also modern reproductions, which is interesting. So you can find uh, pictures of that as well. And then as far as the medieval swords are concerned, it's all sorted by oak shot types. So that may be a little confusing if you're not familiar with the oak shot types, but you can look those up. And regardless, just for browsing, even if you don't know them, it's still pretty useful. And there are some very nice examples here. <laughs> this is actually quite interesting. I haven't seen that before. So, yeah, quite interesting. And Stingray, even. This is actually quite an unusual one. So, what is that, actually? Sometimes it's a little disappointing in that you don't see the information that you're, you're most interested in. But at least you're getting the pictures, right? So, it's definitely useful in that regard. I think they've got the Messers in this category here. Let's see. Yep, there is one. This one here happens to be straight. And, well, it's got at least a blade length. Would be nice to have more information, but, um, yeah. As I said, quite often the information is not there on websites of auctions or museums and whatnot. So, um, there's not much they can do. But whenever there are any measurements, they include them, so that's nice. There's a Tartar Saber. Oh, that's, that's a very nice example. Really good condition. Huh. That looks pretty awesome. They even include African swords, which is pretty cool, because you don't see that much of them usually. <laughs> and some of them are really bizarre, at least to our eyes. Let's see, this is quite a nice decorated one. This one looks a lot more normal to, you know, compared to Western swords. This is a little more on the unusual side. Uh, let's see, what else can we find? Strange things. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty odd too. I wonder how well the points would perform. That would probably be one hell of an armor piercer. And uh, bone piercer as well. So at this point, I'm really just rambling all over the place. So yes, I just wanted to show you this website, which is very, very interesting. 
So if you're looking for any kind of, you know, examples of actual historical originals rather than just reproductions, then this is very, very helpful. So thanks for watching.